New at five, the electricity monopoly, APS, will reimburse customers $25 million in an agreement struck with law enforcement. The Attorney General's office announcing this afternoon that APS did a poor job helping customers understand their options for saving the most amount of money on their electric bills in 2019. Joe Dana has been following APS for years and tells us what today's developments mean. This really is considered a victory in what many consider a David versus Goliath battle that has lasted for years. It means power customers who as of March 2020 were not on their most economical plan and could have saved an estimated $120 or more per year on a different plan will now be reimbursed money. Some customers from 2017 may also get reimbursed what they overpaid. Two ordinary citizens donating hundreds of hours of their own time started a chain reaction that has now forced a billion dollar corporation to refund electric ratepayers across the state. I would say first and foremost, it's validation that all of these years that we've been saying that APS customers are getting screwed over and ripped off is accurate. Renewable energy activist Stacy Champion and business owner Abai Padgaonkar raised the issues that prompted the Arizona Attorney General's office to investigate APS for its faulty rate tool. It shows that APS misrepresented the situation, minimized the impact, the huge impact actually, and misled not only the customers and the commission, but the investors. Attorney General Mark Brnovich says APS did not provide captive ratepayers with the adequate information needed about how to save the most money. Since 2017, APS has implemented a rate system that provides consumers with a menu of options depending on when and how much power they use. It was proven to be rife with confusion. Not helping the matter, APS offered a faulty online tool for consumers to choose their plan. APS tells 12 News, Moving all customers to new plans in the 2017-2018 time frame was a major undertaking and an industry first. And there are areas where we could have done better. Despite the settlement, the question remains how the Arizona Corporation Commission will handle APS for a situation that it created. It's also unclear when a new rate plan will go into effect and what that will look like. The Corporation Commission is in the middle of deciding that right now. Joe Dana, 12 News. All right, Joe, thanks.